a few buddies of ours, Mike, myself, we went to King Kate's. It's a Bengals bar in Chicago. At some point on the table became silent. And I'm not a very observant person, so I had to ask, what's going on? Turns out, Lindsay walked into the room. Or as Michael called her, the one who got away. And at that time, I didn't know if we were in a stalker situation yet. <laughs> But there's a profoundness in that phrase, the one who got away. There's feeling, there's passion. It's so rare. And I knew that if Mike ever had the chance to catch the one who got away, he'd never let her go. As I look at my daughter, I can't help but reflect on all the years I was lucky enough to watch you grow up and become the beautiful woman that you are today. You captured my heart the day you were born, and you're still my little girl, my princess, no matter what age. But today, as I watch you marry this wonderful guy, I am filled with pride and joy. It is written. When children find true love, parents find true joy. Here is to your true love and our true joy. I love you guys. Salute. Michael ended up asking Lindsay to prom his senior year, which Lindsay excitedly accepted. As prom was approaching, our grandfather, Robert Keller, or Poppy, as we lovingly referred to him, was out with his friends talking about the upcoming event. His friend mentioned she also had a grandson attending prom in Cincinnati. Come to find out, Poppy's friend was actually Michael's grandmother, Janet Fassler. That day, Poppy was quick to tell Janet that her grandson better take good care of his granddaughter. After high school, Michael and Lindsay went their separate ways off to college. They would reconnect throughout the years, but they were always in different places. It wasn't until after graduation when Lindsay moved to Chicago a second time that they finally connected again. I'm so happy that Michael and Lindsay found each other. I think that you two are a great fit for one another. Michael, you fit into our family from the second you came in. You bring out the best. <laughs> you bring out the best of my sister, and I can tell you make her so happy. That's our family. <clears throat> Please let Janet know that I'm sure Poppy would agree with me. <sighs> when I say that your grandson takes great care of his granddaughter and my sister, these two were meant to be together. So by the power vested in me from the state of Ohio, it is my distinct honor and privilege to now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Congratulations, Michael and Lindsay. We're so happy you're part of our family now. We love you. 
and we wish you guys the best. We thank both of you chose great partners to spend the rest of your lives. So good luck and many years of happiness. Lindsay, I think you compliment Mike so well. And you look gorgeous tonight. And I'm gonna tell you something that you already know, but you got one heck of a guy. And I'm just so excited for your guys' journey together. And so if we could all raise a glass, and I'm just gonna steal a toast from Doc last night. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. <laughs> Cheers to Michael Lindsay.